Welcome back, everyone. After an interesting case study from Google on diversity and equity and inclusion, it is time for another interesting case study from Glove Energy Development on the topic, embracing people transformation strategies through growth journey. Transformation brings both challenges and opportunities, and the same is with Gulf Energy. But they look at transformation as an opportunity to define their growth journey for the future. And we are delighted to have with us Chutima Subungast, Chief Human Resources Officer, EVP, Gulf Energy Development Public Company, to share their story of transformation and how they are shaping their HR strategies to align with the organization's growth journey. Chutima is responsible for driving overall HR strategies to ensure organization and people roadmap supports growth strategies for Thailand and the expansion of Gulf business across the globe. Her HR mission purpose is to make Gulf Energy Development become a great energy company to work for and be a key member to support the journey of Gulf Energy Development's vision. She brings more than 30 years of diverse experience working with homegrown organizations and big MNCs like Microsoft, Nokia, Adeco, Novartis, L'Oreal, Standard Chartered Bank, and many more. And before I pass it on to Chutima, I would like to remind our audience to keep sharing your learnings with the larger audience on social media. Do not forget to use the hashtag ETEXAPAC in your posts. So let me invite Chutima on the screen. Over to you, Chutima. Good morning, everyone. First of all, I would like to thank you, uh, Economic Times, for the opportunity to give me to share about uh, our gut story, how we embrace our people transformation strategy to support the growth journey in GAF. But before I uh, start sharing my story to everyone, let me show you about what is actually GAF Energy Development Public Company Limited through our video. Gulf, multinational group of corporations based in Thailand. Our commitment is to build a strong foundation for the growth of the economy and society. Because quality energy and quality of life are the goals that drive us towards a sustainable future. Powering the future, empowering the people. And our journey starts from there. We as an HR, what we need to understand is about how the company is starting and how we do the business. So actually, we zoom it out to the external factor that coming to uh, the circumstance of how the company developed the strategy. As we know that uh, economy has been changed, global trade has been shifted from uh, west to east. This market become like a growing market for the world, and this is an opportunity for GAF as well. Resource that has been shifted, technology breakthrough, the changing of the I would say ecosystem infrastructure of the company that been shipped across globe, and expectation of the stakeholder is another area that we need to take into consideration. And of course. Most important about the organization is about people. And that has been all the external factor that we take into consideration on how we build our HR strategy. And last but not least, and truly important during the last few years is about what is happening to our globe is about the pandemic situation that we are in. And it's time for us to build and ensure that we are be able to cover with what is happening right now as a post-COVID challenge that we are. With that, what is about GAF HR need to do? So let's have a look on what it's actually our GAF business look like. We actually start our organization 20 years ago. We are still very young organization per se. We actually start our original business as a conventional power. So currently we have about like 30 power plant in Thailand and outside Thailand. But given the change of the world, the economy, the, the uh, global environment, we are shifting towards green energy. And that is the first step of our revolution of craft business. Not stop at that renewable energy or green energy alone. GAF has been continuously growing and we are transforming, diversify our business, not only from the energy, but we are considering we are now in the infrastructure company, including three major areas. 
First one is the energy business per se. Second one is the infrastructure or logistic that we build and ensure that we have the most modernized infrastructure, utility, mobility service for Thailand. And lastly, for those of you who may have followed up some news about our company is that we are starter, starting to entering into the digital business. Like for example, we already be a major shareholder in one of the largest operator, mobile operator in Thailand, AIS. And also we are start to penetrate our new area of business into the di digital area. And our journey start with the purpose which actually I believe every company also starting from that. What does it mean? GAF actually have our tagline that our purpose is to powering the future and empowering the people. And that is the secret code for HR on how we help our organization to achieve our purpose. With the mission, vision and goal of the company, we actually translate or decode that to our HR vision and mission as well. We actually aim towards to be a trusted partner to business and people and how to build the best in class organization for our people and help our business to grow. So we have a, a lot of mission to, to, to achieve starting from how we acquire people, how we enable them, how we accelerate them and how we engage our people through the journey of growth for GAF. Through the last two years with GAF, actually we have under tried to understand and learn what is actually business is one. And sharing you what is we have developed from the HR standpoint to reflect what business is going to do. So we come up with the model that the company is growing through the fast model. What does it mean by that? Fast is we are very future forward business focused. We would like to drive our organization through the active organization, dynamic, engaging, energetic, and through the growth mindset of the organization, the agile organization that shift in order to respond to the business. We also need to ensure that we accelerate and transform, reskill, upskill our people so that we have the right learning on there. And last but not least, which is the, the core for the business is that we need to make sure that in a nutshell, we are able to provide a tangible profit that respond to our stakeholder and be able to continue growing the company. With that, we drive towards four anchor of HR which is right people, right engagement, right learning, and of course, right performance. This is one page of the strategic approach that HR has been embedded through the team and also engaging with the leader. So we actually seeing ourselves driving towards the big theme of transform for growth and sustain for future. That is about the storyline that we have landed and it will be a journey, not only one year activity for us. So that's about the high level that I would like to share with you. So let's now go to what actually we have done as an HR in GAP in order to embrace our HR strategic direction to the organization. We actually apply the model of changing culture, embracing people agenda, which actually is a journey of transformation through four area that important, which is behavior, system, symbol, and storytelling. So let me go through uh, each one for you. The first one is about behavior. If you want to embrace anything into the organization, first thing that will help us to reflect what we are going to do is about make sure that we have the behavior right for the organization that reflect our purpose. In GAF HR, we started with our one page story, which is our HR master, master plan. Starting from our vision, starting from our uh, mission, as I already mentioned from the beginning, we drive it through our behavior as an HR team and we identify where will be the thing that we would like to go through, what will be the key enabler, including right people, right performance, right learning and right engagement. And using the technology, the digital transformation that HR is doing to scale 
and make the productivity improve. In addition, we are also using the data and insight that we have in the organization in order to help us to make the right decision on what strategy, what methodology, what plan, what program that we are going to land into our organization. The focus of our HR team currently is make sure that we make our program, we make our initiative, put our stakeholder in center. So we focus on people and business. That is our first area of focus. Secondly, given that the company is transforming, given that the business is also continue diverse, so it is our opportunity and it is our also accountability to help our people grow through their unskill, reskill, and redefine what is right for the company as well. And as mentioned, in the new world of work, the decision should make through the inside of the information that we have. So we have the concrete, accurate, and also we have the right decision making to build a strategy for us as well. Lastly, on where we are focusing, we need to make sure that we provide give back time, empowering our people to be able to perform their work at bed. So one of our focus is simplify and standardize what we implement so that we can help our people live better. Importantly, on the behavior that we are embracing is that we shift our way of work from HR focus to be the business focus. So the business partnering model has been landed in order to ensure that when we launch or when we implement anything, we get our people as an impact that we want to deliver. So our approach is being very proactive, try to get and engage, early engage with the business, understand what is actually the business is growing. Secondly, developing our met methodology, approach, or programmatic in a way that very innovative. And lastly, is not be able a one, one person uh, achievement or one person uh, win. So we engage with all stakeholders, we engage with all the uh, key decision makers, we engage with our leader to help. So that about the approach and behavior that change from HR in order to embrace our strategy in the organization. Secondly, we build the right infrastructure that represent uh, the future organization through the right structure, make the organization be so agile in order to respond to the change and shift of the business circumstance. We ensure the culture that serves the business purpose and also translate that to the what development that we need. That's about the behavior that we, we launch. Secondly, a lot of organizations try to embrace the change or the transformation, especially on the HR strategy. In, but a lot of companies did not success because of what? They don't have the system that right for the transformation. With that, we actually look at what actually HR agenda that respond to the business, including from by building through the employee life cycle journey, acquire them, help them to perform, help them to grow and secure them in the organization. Make sure we, we drive that towards what is the future needs. So role clarity, expectation clarity, right performance management system, right development, and also make sure the retain and refreshment of the employee is through the journey. In the new world of work, we also need to understand as well that what is the right truth for the organization, whether we would like to have a big team or we would like to have a specialty, specialty team. That is how we design our way of work and our organization as well. How we define the team, how we define the resource, whether it should be centralized or it should be agile. So in GAF, actually the team here is very agile. We, be, we move people around based on the business focus and help people to be like creating or developing or growing their agility in the dynamic workplace. We design our way of workforce design by taking into consideration of external and internal focus, business needs, capability that we need, availability of the resource that we have. And we also prepare for them to be able to grow in the organization through the roadmap of learning. 
for existing people, for new, new blood that we bring in, and also for future people that we are growing to the, to, to the journey of transformation and building the business as a roadmap as well. So this is about the framework of ecosystem on our learning part for every single individual in our organization. We also embracing the system of learning building the knowledge management during building the uh, academy or university of knowledge for the people through what we are so called named GAF Learning Academy, which is the in-house knowledge management and also in-house uh, learning platform. We also continue to build the channel of communication for learning, for development, for sharing, so-called GAF channel. And we also using our eight intervention of people in a different format that we can be able to help our people to unleash their potential, be able to leverage the different or diversified intellectual of our people across group, and also ensure that we have the ability to scale our people capability as well. In terms of system, not only about the fancy program that we have. We also make to ensure that we have the right infrastructure. So the HR digital team in GAF also continue evolving the way we work. Ensure that we have the right system, right platform, right methodology that can help both manager and employee be able to scale and work through our HR core system that help them be able for them to know their data, to manage their data and also to use the data inside the organization so that they can work, they can learn and they can perform and also they can grow through on that. So that about the system that we are doing uh, in terms of how to embrace our HR strategy. But not only that, we also, we also make sure that we have the right measurement in place because not only implement, but we want to ensure the impact that we deliver. So on this slide, you can see that we also using certain KPI or index to measure our success as well. Next one is about the symbol. We need to ensure that we build the right culture, the right symbol that create the signal to our employee. So culture make a very important. In our uh, HR plan, we make sure that we drive the experience through exploring and embarking. Make sure we continue to develop, continue to find new way that will help employee with the new experience. We ensure that our implementation also emphasize on engagement and make sure that our implementation also elevate the effectiveness and last but not least, also empowering the excellent for our people. We drive towards our GAF value, which is G-U-L-F. So ensure that people work with goal-oriented, creating one unity for GAF, continue reinforcing learning as a nature and culture for uh, our organization, and make sure that we create the agility of flexibility for people. And that is the way that we also drive is through the way that we are looking for people that aim higher, more team-centric, that drive unity, have the mentality of lifelong learning, and of course, very resilient in order to drive self for the change. Means why for the leadership, the leader in GAF need to learn and lead at the same time. We also embracing certain program that helping to develop our people for growth ranger as a future talent group, build the capability of current leader through the leader as coach, and create a new skill through the global MBA program, and continue embracing our GAF value to GAF to grow program. The other symbol that we drive to is about how we create the engagement of people, driving to value, driving to recognize, listening our opinion of employee and also create the well-being across the organization. When we create a culture of engagement, we did not just only engage people inside, but also engage people outside as well. So we make sure people have well-being, life safety, 
we ensure that our organization healthy and we ensure that we have the external stakeholder engagement through number of program activity that we drive to virtually physically and make it maybe more hybrid to serve the environment last thing of success in driving we need to make sure people be informed being tell and this is the way how we drive. We drive to a number of channels of telling our story, telling our progress through inside out, taking learning from outside, knowledge, plug into our people, sharing leadership story, and also providing the platform that help our people to be able to see what's happening in the organization. So that about all in all about how we embrace our evolving of HR strategy and implementation in GAF. I believe changing of organization requires a new mindset that drives the new skill set and result. So sharing your last point for today is about critical success factor in implementation and embracing our HR strategy for our organization. We need to ensure we have the leadership engagement and accountability there. People, organization, agenda is not about HR alone, but it is about leader and HR working together. We need to understand where is our employee readiness so that we can be able to build a readiness program for them. HR capability also critical. When we are the change agent, we need to ensure that our people also has the ability to change as well. Supporting ecosystem not only about the policy process, but how we build the holistic ecosystem to serve them under the digital world and digital workplace. Measuring success in order to see where we are and the progress. And of course, telling the story, engaging people through the journey of implementation and change. So in a nutshell, we believe that organization transformation is about the people transformation. And it's all about culture transformation for the organization that drive to our HR strategic plan and implementation. So that about the story that I would like to share with all of us today and wish that it will be useful and providing some key takeaway for everyone. And anyone that would like to uh, learn more or share more, or if I can offer any support or any insight help, you can reach, reach me through my uh, LinkedIn. And that's all about today. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Jutima, for sharing Gulf Energy's HR transformation journey with our audience today. It was a pleasure to hear you. I'm sure all the real life examples that you've shared will resonate with our audience as well. Thank you once again for joining us. And ladies and gentlemen, it is time for a short networking break now. Visit the networking zone, interact with your peers and grow your network. Join me back after the break for a fireside chat on Magnify the Digital Learning Experience with Data. Stay tuned and see you there. <laughs>